I'm Max Runge with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. And I'm Ken Kelly with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. We get the question a lot, what's the best cattle to have? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's the ones that make the most money. Now, answering that question is a little more difficult. It depends sort of from year to year on which cattle will make the most money. But if we look at developing a market plan and developing replacement heifers, we can develop something that will help add value to our feeder calves. Typically, steers bring more than heifers, and that's one reason the herd builder sale was developed. Uh, over the last three years in Alabama livestock auctions, the five to 600 pound steers brought $18 a hundred weight more than heifers. Six to seven brought $16 more, and seven to 800 pound steers brought $10 more a hundred weight. So what can we do to increase the value of our heifers? Well, one of the things we can do is look at the traits that are desirable in the markets. Mississippi State study done a few years ago looked at 22,000 feeder calves over a period of a year. And they came up, they looked at over 40 characteristics that added value or decreased value. A couple of the ones that we'd like to look at and talk about today as you look at uh, your cattle herd and what you want to develop is muscle score and body condition score. Muscle scores are ranged from one to four with one being heavily muscled and four being light muscled. The market gives a premium for the heavier muscled calves that are coming through. Uh, body condition scores run from one to nine with one being very thin and nine being obese. What you want to shoot for is in the middle. There's four, five, six, and seven body scores bring the most money, but that doesn't always mean it's the most profitable. Uh, we'd like to shoot for that body condition score of four to five. The other thing that uh, needs to be done is a uniform set of calves. And how do you do that? Well, you have a defined breeding season, the shorter the better, and try to have known genetics in developing uh, your feeder calves. There are several different ways to market replacement heifers. You can certainly market off the farm, but a lot of people choose to market through an organized replacement heifer sale. Uh, the herd builder sale is a sale that's been around for several years. Um, Mr. Kevin Tucker does a really good job running that sale. We've got some really good consigners in that sale. So we decided to look at that sale to see if we could pick up on any keys for uh, maybe being a little more profitable with our replacement heifers. So we took all the data from the last 10 to 12 years, uh, put it in a spreadsheet. Uh, Dr. Brittany Goodrich um, did some research, did some uh, regressions for us to kind of see what made money and what didn't make money at the herd builder sale in particular. And we looked at several different things and we'll talk about a couple of those that might relate to you as far as your heifers go. Uh, one thing we looked at was breed effects. People always wondered, does one breed bring more than other breeds? And for our sale, absolutely they did. And, and bear in mind, when we talk about this, we're talking about herd builder numbers. It's going to be different for you in your area of the world and the people that you're trying to market to. Uh, but we saw Brahman Hereford crosses bring more than any other breed that we had in, in the sale. Uh, and again, this is herd builder specific, but specific breeds are going to be uh, more desirable to a particular buyer. Uh, so, so you have to kind of know yours. With the herd builder, we saw the Brahman Herefords being the most profitable. Matter of fact, they were worth about $300 more per pen of four heifers than, than any other breeds we had. We also looked at registration effects. Sometimes folks say, well, should I register my heifers or should I not register my heifers? In the herd builder, we're marketing to commercial cattlemen for the most part. So we, we looked to see if there was some registration effects with it. Absolutely there was. Uh, we saw about $350 more per pen than we saw with non-registered cattle. Now, it's a much smaller group we looked at with that, so those numbers are, are not quite as concrete as our other numbers, but we absolutely saw an effect from that. We looked at AI versus conventional breeding. Did they want to pay more for AI versus conventional breeding? And absolutely they did. We saw $175 more per pen for AI exposed. Now, when we had heifers that were AI guaranteed, they brought even more. But AI exposed meant they had been AI, and then, but then they were also covered by a bull. So uh, possibility of them being AI, but possibility of the bull also. We looked at color. Does color make a difference? Absolutely it does. Now, uh, again, depending on your market, who you're selling to, what your buyers are doing, uh, that the, the color is going to be different for each group, obviously. For ours, as you would, you would guess when I told you the Brahmin Hereford 
brought the most money. The color that brought the most money was our tiger stripes, our brindle cattle. Again, that's for our sale. That's not in particular, but I think you'll find that uh, any particular group of buyers is going to have a certain type of animal, color of animal they're looking for. A couple other things we looked at. <clears throat> we looked at sale order. If you're in a sale, uh, because we always have people that are interested in sale order and, and nobody ever seems to like their sale order and everybody thinks that uh, if you're in a particular point in the sale, it brings you more money. What we found was the sale order had no effect. The higher reputation cattle, what we would probably say were the better cattle, brought the better money, okay? No matter where they were at in the sale. So sale order had no effect on it whatsoever. So then we removed everything else and kind of tried to look at the reputation of the cattle producer themselves. When we took all the other variables out and all the other regressions out and nothing was left but, but differences based on reputation, we saw there was an absolute value for reputation. Are you building your reputation of good, solid cattle? So uh, what we saw was over the years, over the past 10 years, we had one consigner that consistently brought more money for the same type cattle, the same color cattle, all this as compared to the other consigners, brought about $500 more per pen. And that can only be attributed to reputation. So does your reputation make a difference? Absolutely, even beyond the color and all that, reputation meant more for our, our consigners than any other variable we looked at as far as the herd builder sale went. There are no guarantees in making money in the cattle business, but if we look around, there are opportunities for us to add value to all our cattle. Now, it will require a commitment, a high level of management, and you will have to work at knowing your market and knowing the genetics. So if you're willing to do this, there is an opportunity for you to be in the replacement heifer business.